I'm Fabian, I'm from Munich, Germany, and we are here for, for the fun. I'm Martin, I'm from Zurich, I'm actually a local, so that's nice. Uh, why I'm here, I don't know, it's my first hackathon and I want to see how it's, how it's going on. Uh, hi, I'm Pinaki Nanda, I'm from Mumbai, India. Uh, I believe that this is a right forum where we can all like-minded people can meet and we can discuss and exchange ideas. Yeah, so my name is Lee Wasilenko. I'm from uh, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Um, I heard about this from a friend of mine and uh, just love hackathons and wanted to come and, and build some cool apps and meet some people here and check it out. I'm Miki. I live in Switzerland, but I'm Australian. Um, what attracted me? The idea that people coming together to create something. I don't know. <laughs> just to discover what might happen there. So like Zurich is really a platform. We bring tech enthusiasts from all over Europe here to Zurich. Most of them have never met before. They form teams of two to four people, have 40 hours time to build a prototype. And we inspire them with our workshops, with awesome technologies and APIs. But they are also free to work on their own idea. And I'm running this project here for the hackathon where they have the task to do some real-time data recognition to, to understand where the car is basically and have the best strategy. The challenge is to have real-time data recognition as the data pours in. Our idea is about events and following up. So events are something that happen and you need a way to follow up afterwards. You can store these events basically to yourself and then later you can even try to find the ones that you missed. Our idea is loseorfay.com. This is basically a motivation to lose weight. It's really, really important to stay motivated. And nothing actually motivates you more than paying money for not losing weight. So if you're gaining weight, you have to pay money. If you lose it, you win. Our idea is using regular smartphones like everybody has to use those smartphones to create a virtual reality application uh, based on browsers. So you actually just open a web page and you launch a, a virtual reality application just in your browser. You have to get along with people very quickly and you have to make it work very soon. Like three days does not allow you to have disagreements. And also the other hard part is staying up for three days, coding straight for 40 hours. That is quite fun, but it is also challenging. One of the best things I could say for coming to hackathons and why you should be involved in the developer community is you build lifelong friends and you find your future founders of your company. If you're coming to a hackathon, you're basically doing the right thing. Like going to a hackathon, meeting other likewise-minded people and, and collaborate on a project on a 40-hour scale is it's pretty much the same as what you have to expect when you're working at a company like Google. If anything, I think that if you look at Twitter, if you look at Facebook, if you look at all of the big kind of internet products that we use every day, they were all built overnight. Twitter was a hackathon. It started at a company hackathon. Facebook was Mark in his dorm room building it in a weekend. GroupMe was started at a hackathon and then later sold. These sorts of weekend projects where you're just kind of messing around and building something simple that you like end up turning into the really big internet companies. We're super excited to be here at Hack Zurich. This is one of the most amazing hackathons I've ever been to. The amount of organization, the level of engineering quality that we have at this event. Hack Zurich is unbelievably cool, one of the coolest hackathons I've ever been to, and I've been to many all over the world. I would highly encourage anybody anywhere in Europe to come to this, this thing next year because, I mean, this is the first year and look what it looks like. I can't wait to hopefully come back next year.